Good morning class. For today, we are going to have a review for your periodical exam. So the scope of our periodical exam starts with the PEMDAS. And then we will have GCF, finding the GCF and the LCM using two methods, which is the listing method and the prime factorization method. So I hope uh, you have your pen and paper where we will have a drill or some exercises for today's review. So let's begin. Let's start with PEMDAS. Let's have our first example. Say we have 7 minus 24 divided by 8 times 4 plus 6. So again, uh, we have to remember that the order of computation depends on the PEMDAS rule. So we have to check first if there is a parenthesis or a bracket or a brace. Then we will check if there is an exponent, and then we go with the multiplication or division depending on the, which operation comes first from the left. So lastly, we have to do the addition and the subtraction. Okay, so for here, nakita natin wala namang parentheses. Walang parentheses, ito yung parentheses. Wala ring bracket. Yan. At wala ring braces. Or brace. Okay, so yun yung ating mga tinatawag natin na groups. Kasi, tandaan natin, pwede rin natin tawagin to na GEMDAS. Okay. So, G stands for groups. So, back to our um, problem, we have to check for, yeah, sabi ko nga, the parentheses and the exponent first. So, wala naman tayo nakikita dito. Next is, we have to check the multiplication and division operations in the equation. So, nakita natin, we have uh, a, a division here. And a multiplication here. So, unahin natin tong part na to kasi siya yung nauna kesa sa part na to. Okay. We have 24 divided by 8. So, 24 divided by 8 is 3. Next, we will solve 3 times 4. So, copy lang natin. 7 minus 3 times 4 plus 6. Next, we have to solve for the multiplication part. This is 12. So, copying the equation, 7 minus 12 plus 6. Then, next is, we do the subtraction first because ito yung nauna. So, 7 minus 12 is negative 5. Then copying that plus 6, that will give us, uh, we can transfer this one here. So, so we will have 6 minus 5, in a range lang natin yung equation. So the answer is 1. So let's have our next example. Example number 2. We have 18 divided by 3 minus 7 plus 2 times 5. So again, we have to look first if there is any parentheses. So, wala tayong parentheses. Next is 
exponent. Wala tayong exponent. So, we have to deal with the m dash. Okay? So, we have uh, a division here and a multiplication here. So, we start with this first term. So, 18 divided by 3, we have 6. Then, we copy the rest of the equation. Minus 7 plus 2 times 5. Next is, we have to deal with this part. Kasi, multiplication siya. So, the answer here is 2 times 5 is... 10. So, copy the rest of the equation. 6 minus 7 plus 10. Next is, we have to deal with this first because now na siya. So, 6 minus 7 is negative 1. And then we copy plus 10. This equation is the same as 10 minus 1. So, the final answer is 9. So, let's go to our third example. We have 17 minus 6 divided by 2 in a parenthesis and then plus 4 times 3. So I will let you solve the equation first and then we will solve it all together.
Okay, now, so let us solve for the equation 17 minus 6 divided by 2 in the parentheses plus 4 times 3. Okay, so ano una, unahin natin gagawin? Nakita natin mayroong parentheses sa ating equation. So unahin natin yung nasa parentheses. But then, we have a subtraction here and a division here. Siyempre, sa ating MDAS rule, laging uunahin si division kesa sa subtraction. So, we will solve first 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, we will be left with 17 minus 3 in a parenthesis. And then, 17 minus 3, pag sinulog natin ang 17 minus 3, ang makukuha natin ay 14. So, wala na tayong parenthesis kasi nasolve na natin yung or yung part na to. And then, we can copy 14 plus 4 times 3. So, susunod naman natin ay hanapin natin, tingnan muna natin yung ating equation. Meron tayong addition at multiplication. Pero syempre, ang uunahin natin ay si multiplication. So, the answer here is 4 times 3, we have 12. So, we can copy the first one of 14 and then plus 12. So, pwede na natin siyang i-add. At ang sagot ay 26. So, tama ba yung ating mga naging sagot? So, let's go to example number 4. We have, in a parenthesis, 3 times 5 squared divided by 15, whose parenthesis, minus 5 minus 2 squared. So, I'll give you 5 minutes to answer this example.
Okay, so let us check if you got the solution correct. Of course, we have to check whether we have um, parentheses. Yes, we have parentheses. And we also have exponent. Ngayon, sino unahin natin sa dalawang parentheses? Yung nasa unahan, this one, or yung nasa hulihan. So, i-apply pa rin natin yung rules na kung sino ang nauna. So, unahin natin yung ating unang uh, parenthesis. First, the parenthesis. Number one, the first parenthesis. So, nakita natin sa loob ng parenthesis number one, meron tayong multiplication, meron tayong division, at meron din tayong exponent. So, again, mauna si exponent na i-simplify bago natin uh, puntahan yung multiplication at si division. So, in simplifying the exponent, tandaan natin na yung number na nasa itaas, nakahulugan siya ng bilang ilan beses natin i-multiply yung ating base number sa kanyang sarili. So, nakalagay dito dalawa. So, sabihin, we have this exponent can be translated to 5 times 5. Kasi dalawang 5. Okay? dalawang exponent niya. So, 5 times 5 is actually 25. Okay? And then we can copy 3 times 25 divided by 15. Okay? So, next, wala na tayong exponent, di ba? So, hanapin natin ay multiplication and division. So, we have a multiplication here and a division here. Pero, mas nauna si multiplication. So, we do 3 times 25 first. 3 times 25, 75. So, we, we will divide this by 15. Parenthesis. So, this term, 75 divided by 15 is 5. So, na-simplify na agad natin yung ating first na parenthesis. Then, susunod natin si simplify ay itong second parenthesis na to. We have 5 minus 2. Para nakita natin ulit dito, meron tayong exponent. So, we will simplify this first. This is the same as 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. And copy 5 here, minus 4. So, this is 1. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung simplify na natin yung ating equation. Natanggal na natin ang exponent at parenthesis. Ang natira na lang natin sa atin ay itong 5 at 1 at ang operation na subtraction. So, we will carry this down. So, we will have, finally, 5 minus 1. And 5 minus 1 is equal to so, the answer is 4. Now, let us move on with finding the greatest common factor using the listing and the prime factorization method. Okay? Again, GCF stands for greatest common factor. So, let's have an example. We have 24 and 36. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we will list all the factors or the numbers that if we multiply these numbers, we will get 24. Okay? Okay? So, including itself, of course. And 1. Okay, we will list down the factors of 24. So, we have 1. We have 2. We have 3. We have 4. We have 6. We have 8. 12. And 24. 
Next, we have 436. Ano-ano ba yung mga factors? Of course, we still have 1. We have 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. So, after listing, we will have to check for the greatest common factor. Anong number yung magkapareho sila? So, nakita natin dito, one, we have 1, 2 as well, magkapareho sila, and 3, and 4, and 6, and 12, and there's nothing else. At ang pinakamalaki sa kanila, the greatest is 12. So, 12 is the greatest common factor of 24 and 36. So next, let us look for the GCF of 24 and 36 using the prime factorization method. In the prime factorization method, what we have to do is we will have to write or identify all the prime factors of the number. When we so, ano nga ba yung mga prime factors or yung mga prime numbers? So, yung mga prime numbers, ito yung mga number na hindi mo na siya po pwedeng i-divide ng iba pang number. Ang po pwede lang gawin ay i-divide mo siya by 1 or i-divide mo siya sa sarili niya. So, example natin ay yung uh, 3. Diba? Kapag hinanapan natin ng factors ito, ang matitira na lang ay 3 and 1. So, if you multiply 3 and 1, you will get 3. Okay? Unlike 9, which is a composite number, pwede pa natin siyang i-break down into uh, the prime number, which is 3 and 3. Okay? So, I said, behind si 3, I prime number. 9 is not a prime number but a composite number. So, pagkuha ng mga prime factors, ang ginagamit yun natin, yung tinatawag natin na uh, prime factor 3. Kung saan naglalagay tayo ng number sa taas, tapos kinukuha na natin yung mga uh, factors niya. For example, we have 24. So, what are the factors of 24? We can have 2 times 12. So, we have here 2 is a prime number. But 12 is still a composite number. So we can further uh, decompose this 12 into 3 times 4. So we have our 3, a prime number, but 4 is not, a, is not a prime number. So we can decompose this into 2 times 2. So we arrive at that prime number, 2 and the 2. Okay, we have 36 sa kabila. We can break down this number into 3 times 12, for example. Uh, 3 is a prime factor, 12 is not, so we can break this down into 3 and 4. So we have 3, a prime number, 4 is not. Breaking this down, we have 2 and 2. So we arrive at the final prime numbers for this number 36. And then what we are going to do is to list down the prime factors or prime numbers of each. So we have for 24, we have 2, 3, 2, and 2. For 36, we have 3, 3, 2, and 2. Now, we're going to look ano yung mga magkakapareho sa kanila. So nakita natin dito, we have 3, parang silang meron 3, meron silang parehong 2, at meron silang parehong 2 din dito. So, kukopihin natin kung saan sila magkapareho. We have 3, then 2, then 2. And then we will multiply this 3 times 2 times 2. So, we will arrive at the answer 12. So, 12 is the greatest common factor of 24 and 36. So now we are going to look for the least common multiple of, of two numbers. Least common multiple of two numbers. So for example, we have 
4, and 5. For the listing method, ang gagawin lang naman natin ay ililist natin yung mga multiples of each number. So, we have 4 and 5. Magre-list tayo hanggang sa makarating tayo sa uh, kung ano yung number na common sa kanilang dalawa. Okay? So, for number 4, we have uh, 4, of course, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So, stop muna tayo sa 24. Then we will list the multiples of 5. We have 5, 10, 15, and 20. So we arrive at a common multiple which is 20. Therefore, the LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. So that is how we do the listing method. So, pwede rin natin gamitin yung prime factor 3 sa paghanap ng least common multiple ng dalawang number. Okay? So, kanina we have 4 and 5. So, tingnan natin. 4 is a composite number which, which can be broken down into 2 and 2. So, ito na yung ating prime number. For number 5, 5 is a already prime number because it can only be divided by itself and by 1 and if we multiply 5 times 1 we will arrive at 5 as a prime number so 5 is already a prime number yung 1 prime number siya pero kasi diba anything that is divided by 1 or anything that is multiplied by 1 will always be that number so hindi na natin sasam si 1 so therefore 5 is already a prime number so next, what we are going to do is to list the prime factors or prime numbers of each uh, number. For 4, we have 2 and 2. But for 5, we only have 5. Okay? So, yun natin gagawin ay hanapin yung kung saan sila magkakamuka. But, wala tayong makitang numbers na magkakamuka ang 4 and 5. So, ang gagawin natin ay uh, we'll separate them by using columns. So, tagalin muna natin siya, C5. Lagyan natin ng column. Para makita natin na wala kamukha. C2 sa 5. At C5 naman, wala siya kamukha sa taas. So, parang ganyan. So, dahil wala kamukha, we will just bring down these prime numbers. So, we have 2. Have two, and then we have five. Next is we are going to multiply this number two times two, which is four times five, equals twenty. Therefore, the LCM of four and five is twenty. So ganon din yung nakuha natin using the listing method. So for our last exercise, I want you to find the GCF and the LCM of the numbers 20 and 25. I will give you 5 minutes to answer this exercise.
Let us solve first the GCF of 2025 using the listing method. So for the listing method, we have to um, get the factors of each number and list them down. So for 20, we have, of course, 1. Then we have 2. We have 4. We have 5. 10 and 20. Okay. For 25, we have 1, of course. We have uh, 5. And we have 25. So we can see here that we have two numbers that are similar. We have 1. And we have 5. But of course, we are going to choose 5 because that is the greatest common factor. So the GCF for 2025, 5. So if you are going to use the prime factorization method, we shall arrive at the same answer, which is 5. So let's try to use the prime factor 3. So for 20, we can break this down into 2 and 10. 2 is a prime number. Then we can divide it uh, into... Uh, 2 and 5 and these two are already prime numbers for 25 we can use 5 and 5 and these two numbers are already prime numbers so next is we are going to list the prime numbers for 20 we have 2 we have 2 and we have 5 for 25 we only have 5. So, hanapin natin alin yung uh, magkamukha sa kanila. So, the only one similar to, to, to both of them is the number 5. So, therefore, 5 is the greatest common factor, which is similar to the answer we got when we used the listing method. Next, let us find the LCM or the least common multiple of 20 and 25 using the listing method. So, we will write all the multiples of 20-25 until we reach a common number or common multiple. For number 20, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. For 25, we have 25, 50, 75, 100. So, we arrive at a common multiple which is 100. Therefore, the LCM of 20 and 25 is 100. How about if we use the prime factorization method? We shall arrive with the same answer as when we use the listing method. So, let's try using the prime factor 3 for 20 and 25. For 20, again, we have 4 and 5. 5 is already a prime number, so we can deal with number 4, which is uh, 2 and 2. Okay, so we have 2, 2, 5 as the prime number of 20. So for 25, we only have, as we have seen earlier, we have 5 and 5 only. So let us list the numbers. So we have 20 and 25. For 20, we have 2, 2, and 5. For 25, we have 5 and 5. So i-align lang natin ulit kasi hindi sila magkamuka. Pero dito sa isang 5, magkamuka sila. Isa natin yung 5. And then another 5 here. And then this one, dahil magkamuka sila, is down natin as 5. Then we bring down other prime numbers. So we have 2, then 2, then 5. And then we are going to multiply this all together. So we have 2 times 2 is 4, times 5 is 20, times 5 is 100. So we have the same answer as 
the listing weight method, the LCM of 20 and 25 is 100. So that's it for today. Good luck on your exam on Wednesday. So have a great day everyone. Thank you.